I mean, Micah Owens was special. We made Micah Owens use a wooden bat because in batting practice, we lost too many baseballs. I'll tell you that the first month of the school year, when I came over my junior year, um, I begged mom and dad to go back. Missed my friends there and grew up there in Forsyth and, and wanted to go back. I didn't, I didn't like it. And we have a big red shed at Gainesville High School. In the first couple of weeks, I think he was just so unhappy. He was sitting out there at the red shed, eating lunch, and nobody sitting around him. Nobody knew who Michael Owens was. You know, he had just came and everybody knew who he was. He comes to games, well, nobody knows him. And I finally walked up to him one day, I said, Mikey, if you're that unhappy, you, you might need to go back to where you came from. Right. But I said, I said, you've got to be happy. But just so happened, basketball was getting ready to start in late October. Uh, he became a really great basketball player. And when Katie B, when he left Gainesville High School, he might have been the most popular person on campus. Um, it was tough making some friends. I'm a little bit more introverted than most would believe. Um, and once the basketball season started, I was good. It broke the ice. Um, had by then made a lot more friends. Uh, and a lot of close friends on the baseball team, even to this day, took me under their wing. And, um, but it was a basketball season that was like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. Um, most fun games of my life, arguably against the baseball games I've played in, and the excitement. Now, Coach Amy wore me out. I wasn't accustomed to that kind of conditioning uh, or pace that we play here in Hall County at Gainesville High School. So it uh, took me a little while, but uh, just really embraced. And I don't think people realized um, that I could poop a little bit, you know, when I came over. It was the last year in the old gym, so that place was packed every home game. And just being able to witness that, and it was my first year, so, you know, over, so witnessing the last year and the, the run in the old gym, which to this day, I think, nothing against the new gym, but that, there was something special about that place. Um, and the team that we had, I came in early on, was, you know, sixth, seventh man competing to get in the starting role and starting lineup and worked my way in eventually, but had to earn it. And I wasn't used to that either. Uh, growing up, I was, you know, just kind of given those positions. So it was back to, you know, get that taste, get that hunger and earn it again. You know, everybody thinks Mike Owens was my number one. He was not, he was my number two. But I started out slow. So I know that the Gainesville Red Elephant faithful were scratching their head at first, like, what's up with this guy? And um, what's all the hype about? And uh, I ended up settling in and um, Fortunately, I had amazing guys and teammates around me. I mean, our, our teams were unbelievable. I wouldn't be sitting here having this interview without them, every one of them. Uh, but now when he walks between those white lines, it's all business. And Coach Amy, you know, that was the first team that I was on, Virgil Amy's basketball teams. Um, Coach Vic, I, I mean, people can say what they want about Wayne, or who I call Merle. He loved his players and loved Gainesville High School more than anybody that I know. I think Mike Owens could probably do anything. Um, and Carp, I can't say enough about Carp. I mean, first of all, first, it's an honor to get inducted uh, with him. And even given what I've been blessed with and the talents uh, to work hard and not get complacent. Influence a high school game and to be as good as he was and still do what he did. Everybody in that dugout knew exactly, don't pitch to him, be careful with him. He walked three batters in 75 innings his senior year. Three batters. And one was in the state championship game. I mean, what does that tell you? He, he was phenomenal. And continue reminder that I could get there, I could do it, and that someday I would. To instill that belief in somebody, um, set me on that path. He was a great athlete, but his, his work habits were just out the roof. Very humbling. Um, very grateful uh, to the big man upstairs for uh, the path that he sent me on and the dreams that I've been able to uh, 
live and, and, and uh, experience. Um, thankful to my family. Uh, I tell Micah from time to time and we talk to different people, Mike Owens is such a great person. But when I got the call from Coach Vic and, and he told me, I, I knew my name was kind of in the hat and was already just the thought of it humbled with all the incredible athletes, like you said. But I, I told Coach Vic, I said, that's great, man. I, you know, I'm so honored and appreciative, but I wish I'd take it, uh, I'd take jumping in the lake again um, over it. And I mean that with all, all the respect. But that's what it was about. Uh, looking out right now, and the two times we got to, to clinch the state title and run down with my brothers that I fought all year with and, and staff and, and school body, um, that's for me what it means is, is I would, and that's why I'm sitting here largely, is because uh, a lot of those guys around me and the school and the body and the, and the city of Gainesville, so I'm very appreciative.